Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, because all of my home screen setups are based on Nova Launcher, I thought I'd put together a super quick guide for those of you struggling with this awesome third party launcher. I'm going to be covering the basics of Nova, the customization options, and my own personal top tips. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks, and customization videos. So, for this tutorial, all you need is an Android phone, Nova Launcher, and for additional features, Nova Launcher Prime, both of which I've linked in the description below. And as a quick note, for those of you after my live wallpapers, make sure you grab them for my custom creation app. Now jumping right into it, when you first load Nova, you can choose to either import your old home screens or start afresh, then picking between light and dark mode for your system. And finally, the drawer style you want to use, either the swipe up or the button look. And that's it, the whole setup process complete, you're now free to fully customize your home screen as you wish. From the onset, it looks very similar to most of the other stock launches you've seen, with the classic app drawer housing all of your phone's apps, swiping left and swiping right takes you to all of your home screen pages and long pressing brings up more options which you can also use to add in new pages. Now that we had the basics of navigation out of the way, let's clean up our home screen. Starting with removing unwanted pages, just simply long press on the home screen and then long press on the page you want to remove. Now for anything else you want to remove, the process is exactly the same, whether that be a widget or an app. Just simply long press it and hit remove. And to add apps to your home screen, just simply drag them out from the app drawer. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the customization settings. Just simply long press on your home screen and let's head into settings. Here, the launcher is actually split into different sections and each one you can individually customize. So let's start at the top with the home screen settings. Now using the grid, you'll be able to control how many things you can fit on screen. But bear in mind, by increasing it, you're going to be losing out on icon size. Next up, icon layout. This is where you can customize your home screen apps. Adjusting their size and altering the label look. Personally, for my home screen setups, to get an even cleaner look, I always turn off the icon labels. Now using Nova, you can also add in padding to move everything away from the edges. Perfect if you're having issues with accidentally opening apps. Next up, the dock section. This is where you can control the look of your home screen dock. Turning it off and on, increasing and decreasing the number of apps shown, and even adding a custom backdrop. There's definitely a lot to tinker with in here. And within the home screen section, there's quite a few other minor customization options available. So make sure you take your time and check them all out. However, for this quick tutorial, the final thing we're going to check out in this section is the transition effects located within the scroll section. This will allow you to totally change the way Nova switches between pages. With loads of different animation effects available, it's well worth checking out. Next up, let's take a look at the customization options available for the app drawer. Here, similar to the home screen, you can fully adjust the look as you please. Choosing to arrange your apps vertically, horizontally, or even as a list. And just like the home screen, you can adjust the app grid if you want to see more on screen, and the icon layout to customize the app sizes, as well as altering the label colors. And speaking of colors, for those of you who want your app drawers to match your current theme, you can adjust your drawers background color here, either choosing one of the presets or setting your own within the advanced section. Additionally, if you want to show off your wallpapers, you can also play around with the drawers transparency settings. Now moving on, the next major features that we want to look at here is all about organization, with the main two options being the use of tabs or folders. To enable tabs, make sure to change the top bar settings from search bar to tab, which will simply replace the persistent search bar with the tabs that you create. And now that we have the tabs enabled, let's head to the app section to manage our apps. And here, you can even hide what you don't want displayed. Now within the drawer group, you can manage both the tabs as well as the folders of your app drawer. 
And regardless of which one you want to use, just use the plus button to add in a new category and then select the apps that you want to include in it. And for those of you who want to customize the look and feel of all of your folders, just head to the folder section within Nova Launcher and adjust the settings here. Now for the final major customization aspect of Nova Launcher, the look and feel section. Here, you'll be able to adjust your page scroll speed, the app opening animations and apply a few other aesthetic changes. However, the biggest impact to your home screen setups is going to come from the icon styles. Here, you'll be able to apply any of the custom icon packs which you've downloaded from the Play Store and if you want, even change up your icon's overall shape. Now personally, with all of my home screen setups, I like to get that nice full screen experience without the distraction of the Android status bar. For this, simply within the look and feel section, make sure to disable the notification bar. Now the final thing we're going to look at is the gesture controls. Here, you can assign Nova to perform certain actions depending on the gesture that you perform on the home screen. Whether that be swiping up to open the app drawer, or even more specifically, double tapping to open a certain app. Personally, I like to use it to help keep my home screen decluttered, assigning any apps that I need quick access to, to a gesture. A good example of this would be the setup that I use to unlock my laptop using my phone's fingerprint scanner. More on that in the video in the top right corner. Now there is so much more customization options available within Nova Launcher, including controlling your icon notification badges, backing up and restoring your home screen setups, and even more. But hopefully, you should now be able to navigate and use it a lot more easier. And don't forget, I do weekly live wallpaper and home screen setups, so why not find one from my collection that you like and give it a try. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. But before you go, as a final note, for those of you who submitted live wallpaper requests, I'm going to be bringing a brand new request system built right within our live wallpaper app. This will also include a ranking system and much more. But don't worry, I've been keeping track of all current request submissions which will also be included in the list. So expect a channel update very soon, giving you guys more details and even a sneak peek at how it will all work. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.